Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022, and it is a beautiful evening here at the local pond, and I am gonna see if there are any bass biting. Um, I fished here about 10 days ago, a few days after the opening day of trout season, and this pond had been absolutely hammered in that span. Um, obviously because it, it was stocked with trout. So it seems like the pressure has died down over the past several days and I'm hoping that the bass aren't quite as discombobulated with all the pressure and they're willing to bite again. So I'm gonna start out by throwing around a swim bait and we'll take it from there. Hopefully these, uh, these bass are back to biting the way they're supposed to. Well, one thing I can tell right away is that this pond is pretty low right now. Definitely not up to its normal spring levels, which is about six inches to a foot higher than this. Which is not good because this pond always seems to fish better when the water's higher. So, just going to have to deal with that and see if that's going to affect the bite any either. <laughs> you know, I just noticed, looking around the trees and the bright sun, you can see the sun glinting off of the uh, spinners that people have lost in the trees. There's one right there, there's one all the way down there, there's one across the way right there, and I'm sure there's probably a few more that I'm not seeing. Speaking of lost tackle, there's a ton of floats in the trees here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just in my immediate vicinity. And there's another one down there I can see. That's why it is so important to work on your casting, because sometimes you're going to have to dodge tree limbs and you're not gonna catch any fish if your lure or your float is dangling from a tree. So, lesson number one, work on your casting. I mean, I'm not above hanging up my lure in a tree from time to time either, but I'll bet you I'm not as prolific as most. Well, I think I might have made a miscalculation. You remember when I said before that the pressure in this pond was lightening up? Well, looks like someone flipped the switch again, and it's because I forgot that this pond is stocked during the season as well as before the season. And judging by the dozen plus anglers that I see around me right now, they probably threw some fish in recently. So, gonna have to contend with additional fishermen putting pressure on the fish. But if there's one silver lining, it looks like they're all going for trout. And they're pretty much ignoring the bass. So, if I fish differently than everybody else is, then I might be able to get on a bass bite. So I switched away from the swim bait, and I'm gonna be dragging this jig along the bottom. I doubt anybody is using a jig to try to catch trout right now. Well guys, I just caught a decent largemouth in the one and a half to two pound range on uh, this jig, but I have a feeling that the footage might have gotten corrupted and there's no video, just audio. So if you're hearing this, then I'm afraid that uh, that particular fish catch shall remain undocumented. There we go, fish on. Ate that jig off the bottom. Come on up. All right. Oh, 
Not too bad. Maybe a pound and a half, pushing two. All righty. Ice is broken. There we go. Caught him right off of this pipe here. Had it in his mouth for a while. Didn't know it was a fish. Thought I might have been dragging it over some sticks or something. Super light hit, but he held onto it long enough for me to get him. Another one falls victim to the jig. I think I made the right decision to slow it down. These bass are not in a chasing mood. There we go. Wow, he just started racing off with it. Did you see my line going sideways? I didn't even need to feel the bite. I saw that line taking off 100 miles an hour. Knew it had to be one of these guys. Here we go. Fish on. Another one that just kind of picked it up and started swimming with it. I'm lucky these fish are holding on to this bait because it's taking me several seconds to figure what's going on. It's one thing I don't like about jigs. So many times you don't feel the bite. And if they're in a pick it up and drop it kind of mood, you're in for a frustrating day. But fortunately, it seems like once these fish get it in their mouths, they just want to suck on it. Got somebody's line here. Wonder if there's any goodies on it. Oh, we got bullet weight, snap swivel, and what do we have on the business end? A treble hook. Huh. Somebody was probably fishing with power bait using a Carolina rig. And they lost it. So in the garbage it goes. Well, that is going to do it for this evening. Wasn't a fantastic evening of fishing. I was out for about two and a half hours, managed to land four fish, which that's not great, but you know, given that uh, this pond was getting buffeted by other anglers and these fish have probably seen numerous lures go past their nose today I can definitely handle four bites I think that's a success given uh, you know given all the competition that I had today so uh, yeah I mean in a situation like that you got to go in with altered expectations and really just kind of take what you can get because uh, you know when you got that many people on the water there's only so many fish to go around, and I'm just happy that I was able to catch my share. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.